All right. For this section, we're going to talk about basically the beat machines. The beat machines in here that can literally replace, and when I say literally, I mean replace your hardware or the software that you're using. So, uh, to me, one of the dopest things on here is the Beatmaker 2. Beatmaker 2 replaces any beat machine. This is what I use. I dump, I take all my sounds, all my sounds, and I've dumped them in Beatmaker 2, and that's what I use. You got uh, the IMPC Pro, which is kind of like the IMPC on steroids. It's kind of cool. Uh, you got iMachine 2, which is their new version of iMachine software, which is kind of like iMachine Studio. You got Electribe, which is basically Electribe. Beathawk, I don't really use, so we won't even go over that one. Uh, noise Pad's kind of crazy. Rebirth for you propeller head cats. You got Novation's Launch Pad. IMPC's uh, Quartz Cat Oscillator, iSequence. All these kind of have their own nice little things, but I'm going to basically talk about uh, Beatmaker 2 and basically iMachine 2 because those are the only ones I really use. I have these because I purchased them or I liked them, but when it comes to functionality, I'm here to show you about workflow. So Beatmaker 2. All right, what I like about Beatmaker 2 is that uh, we're going to go with Last Auto Save. What I like about Beatmaker 2 is you can do basically as many channels as you want and uh, as your device can handle. Um, you can load up your own sounds, which is pretty dope. So you just. You know what I'm saying? These are all my sounds. And um, you got. So you got cool things, and you got banks. Banks. So you got yeah, it, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of things you can you can really do with this. So it's a lot. It's really it's a lot of things you can do with this NPC. I mean. Um, like this is where a uh, track originated at. So this is where the track originated at. I mean, you can do a lot of things with Beatmaker too. I mean, um, you can, um, the, the most beautiful thing about this thing, and that, now this is where I'm going to show you why I love this. Because a lot of times as producers, sometimes you want to load samples quick. You want to, you want to go to your, 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 your instruments. You want to find it quick. So I'm going to go, let's say I want to load a kit. I'm going to go to empty preset. So then I go to empty preset, and uh, these are the screens that you got. You got the load sample, quick load, record, edit samples, yeah, fade in, fade in all that's amazing. I mean, then you can go through the, your, uh, you can tune it. I'll show you all that in a later date. But what I, the, the main meat and potatoes about this is what I love is this quick load. This quick load, you can go to my content, and let's say I want to go to uh, claps. My clap is on there. Let's say I want some kicks. Okay, let's go with another kick. Um, let's say we need some snares. Uh, we'll put some snares in there. Okay, let's say we want a rim shot. With a rim shot, we're gonna need some hi hats. Where are the hi hats? Let me go to the hi hats. Hi hats, bam! Hi hats, bam! Hi hats, bam! Okay. <laughs> Dookie, dookie, dookie hi hat.
So basically, you see that? It's dope. I mean, you don't you don't really find too many beat machines that can do the things that they can do. Then you got, you know what I'm saying, your IMPC Pro. I'll show you that. It's kind of cool. Uh, you can load your own samples in here. That comes with... You got your pad, I mean, your banks. It's easy to switch to your banks. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Um, you can program uh, things. Your mixer, the mixer is kind of cool. Um, your timeline, I guess. Yeah, it's that's how you can go from song to song. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. It's more. It's more of a toy. Like for for Akai to come up with something. I don't need a retro Nims or whoever made this. I expected it to be like this was the original IMPC that they made. That's kind of. Like that was a letdown as well. Uh, like, like it looks. It looks like the NPC, but you got your full levels and things like that. I mean, it. it Like that. To me, those are those are wonky sounds. I don't really do wonky. I'm a professional. I need my stuff to sound amazing. Um, I Machine Two, shocking. The revamp that they did to this is actually like kind of like the studio. Uh, I didn't know I disabled it, but it's kind of cool because you got your sequencer up here, and your sequencer is basically how you put your stuff in song forms. Sequencer is basically a collection of patterns. Um, as you see, as I move to the sequencer, it's telling me which pattern it, that that sequence is on. Um, the dope thing about this is when you want to a uh, when you want to manipulate a, a sound, a lot of these things over here. Let's it's got it's got, got a lot of cool features. One thing that I, I do like about this is. Um, this ultimate collections I said in another video for 99 cents you got all of these I haven't even downloaded them all yet because um, I mean it takes a lot of time and I'm too busy trying to crank videos out but the new feature is it lets you tell I mean it shows you what all the new features are compared to the last version I think it's pretty cool I mean if you uh, like I said you can check out my iMachine 2 video um, I'm gonna do a Beatmaker 2 video um, Launchpad is it's kind of um, not really, it's not really what you expect, so I'm just not even going to give it a sh shout out. Uh, Chaos Alert is pretty dope. Um, it's basically how Korg's old hardware is. Yes, 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 okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Chaos Lair is kind of cool. You can do some freaky things with it. I like to create my own rhythms. Uh, D, this is a step, more of a step sequencer for you drum machines, you DM1 heads. Uh, I, like I said, I'm not a step sequencer. I'm a live guy. I'm a musician by trade. Grew up in the in the church, so I played in a marching band, all that good stuff. So for me, I, I have to. I visually see waves. I don't. I'm not really a, a, a step sequencer guy. But don't let me hate. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm messing around. But um, basically, you can daisy chain all these things together. Like with Beat Machine, I made I made the beat in Beat Maker 2. Like I said, made the beat Beat Maker 2. We'll go to last audio save. So you can see, you know, when I was messing around with the... Uh... Remember that? Remember that? Okay, so what I did was... I put that into my Pro Tools. Remember, like I said, quotation marks, Pro Tools. It's just like Pro Tools, man. I mean, it's it's really amazing. I mean, the things that this thing can do, and sorry for me moving around, I'm kind of a, uh, uh, I'm all over the place. But like I said, then you bring it into here. You bring it into here. Sub mixes. So I got all my drums on one channel. All of them in one channel. basically a quick overview on a few apps that you can use that actually can do whatever you need in a studio all on your iPad. Stop spending thousands of dollars on stuff that people tell you you need. Come see my channel, figure out what you really need, how you can use it, how it can help you, benefit you. <coughs> Excuse me. Show your workflow. I mean, look at this. Look at the keyboards. I mean, we're going to get to the keyboards right now. Okay? Let's get to the keyboards. 